Hello. <clears throat> In this video, I will explain you how my terrain tool works. So, like, you just insert the GUI with the ID and put it into starter GUI, and you don't need to add anything else. Then, what you need to do is go to play. And now we have here different menus. You can also track it around. And this is not really mobile friendly, sorry, but maybe I will edit soon. So we have your edit, which I didn't finish yet. We have the crow tool. You see a little brush here. We have no smoothing tool yet. I added just now the drawing tool. You see this little tool dot here. And we have painting. So to even start at first, we need a terrain. Here we can select the sides, small, medium, large, or custom. If you want to do custom, select this. And here you can insert the custom X and Z. So for example, like that, like that. The width is basically if you have, a, like this would be your terrain, this part here, and the width would be be the sides of the uh, Y. So this is the width. I would recommend just letting it on the smallest. The tile length is basically, let me just generate one now. So if I generate, there's a little progress bar and then with the zero position it will start making this terrain here. So like we can see the width, is 0.2 and the grid so the 10 by 10 is basically like you see this folder now here that's being generated and the default is basically the name you inserted here in there we have a config which i will explain later a script that renders the stuff so don't delete it please we have triangles and points the points are these points and you don't delete them because I didn't edit the feature yet. And the triangles are like, this is one triangle here. If I just color this two wedges here to blue, this is one triangle. And if we count now, like if this would be a square, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten times ten. So the number is basically how much squares and the tile length is if i check now this triangle here the sides oh well, it's more like uh let me get apart again and if i rotate it this is around 10 dots one square okay the tray name you can just change it to whatever you want like it doesn't really matter just setting the name to that so if I delete this terrain now and put like here map one of something and press generate this map one is being generated generated and another thing you don't need to add this triangle terrain folder it just makes it for you just don't delete that folder because it's important later so you now there's an addition to this so if we have go here down we have noise settings so if we turn this on and generate now you see a little different we have noise so you can play around with these numbers a little bit like putting the frequency more high let me make a bigger terrain for that so you see it looks a little different to this 
Um, you can just play around with this a little bit if you want. So let me just delete the small one. So or let me just make an empty one again. And delete the noise thing. So now we have here a thing. So the next thing you can do is simply you select the point. Uh, by holding Alt and selecting a point. And if you move this point now, you can edit it like this too if you want. So you have here, you can do it like that. What you can also do is, for edit, I will add features for this soon maybe. If this works, I'm not really sure. We have Crow tool. So the just one thing, the sliders are a bit weird in the studio mode. Like you see, it's not going, but if I go more wide, it will at some point start sliding. So just, you know, so you can do a sides uh, just so you know, on very big sides, it will lag, so I don't recommend doing too big. And we have a strength. So first we do grow. And we can recommend turning all the selection options here off when using this. Because else you would like select stuff. So you can grow stuff. You can also turn it to shrink. You can make the strength stronger so it goes even deeper, or you can make the strength really less so it goes smoothly down with less power. Smoothing is not added yet. We also have painting. So you can paint around with color. Material, like if you want some, I don't know, some, let's say, mm, slate, like some rock biome. You can do slate here. Or, for example, if we let me just reset real quick. Mm. If we now make a map with some noise. Also, for the seed, if you input the exactly same stuff with the same seed, you get the same map again. Just so you know. Now, I think if I go with that. I'm not really sure right now uh, what it was. You see, on bigger map is also taking some time, but you have a progress bar up here, so just don't do anything whilst generating. Just to be sure it's not breaking. For the next one, I'm gonna be smaller. So now it's done, but this map is not really what I wanted to. So I go higher with the amplitude. Yeah, this is what I want. So, for example, you have some hills or something, and then you just do slate, some dark color, and you color the mountain top like that. Or something. I don't know what you want. Um, oh god. Yeah, this is not really beautiful drawing. So let's just get a new one. Let's just make a small one again. Like that. So, painting has also sides mode. Could also lag at some point, and also the bigger the map is, the more it lags for some reason. 
maybe I find a fix for that. But now we have one new tool, the drawing. So for that, I recommend you uh, adding a part under the like split move the part like. Wait, I have no snapping on. So right now, because I couldn't find a solution for my problem while scripting that. Put the part so it's under like in the center of the uh, area and just place it like that. And then if we now go to the drawing tool, so Oops, let me disable the move tool again right there. So you see this little dot here with the arrow. If you click here, nothing happens. So the first thing you need to do is hover over one point and, and click on it. And then you see, ooh, something happened if you move around. If you click here again, nothing happens. So select the second point. Then you see two lines coming to there, and now you, what you can do is press on whatever position you want, like that, have a new part, or you can do this, this, and click another part if you want. But the important is the first two dots need to be an existing point already. What you can also do is turn this use drawing settings on and configure this. So your parts you are making are already being colored and have the material you want. Oh, this is not this time yet, this material. But yeah, that's pretty much the tool for now. Play around with it. And now how to the next thing is how to import it into your actual game because if you leave it just gone. What you can do is copy this and just paste it in or do insert export model. Get the ID and just import it. For small ones I just copy this and paste it and we have the train and now don't remove the points so these points will automatically hide if this option is on in the terrain oh yeah one thing i did wrong now so for example because this is important if you want to edit your terrain later again. If you have a train, copy the folder, not the model, and paste it in. So when you come back and you want to edit something, maybe you can do this. But if I parent it to the workspace, it will not work. So edit in there. And if you just make a new one, then just copy, and you already have the model, at the folder, I mean, and just copy the model and paste it into the folder too. Or you can make the folder yourself if you want. So now we have our terrain. Don't touch the script. It's just doing updates i will explain you real quick so if hide points is enabled in the normal play mode so not in the studio the points will just hide so you don't see them anymore if you do it too off they will still be there even in the normal game 
that's not like that if you want. Now we have also update terrain and play mode, uh, which I currently not really recommend because I had for some reason lag issues with that. What it basically means, if you play the game normally, not in a studio mode, and have this on, and one of the point positions change, the terrain also updates if you need it. But I had some lag problems with that, just so you know. And yeah, that's pretty much the tools for now. I hope you understand how it works now, and thanks.